in the very beginning. I swear a lot. but it's about to end so just oh my god that was live wild. audience yes holy shit okay hi hello welcome to counting cryptids i'm connor i'm jacob uh this week we are recording live so if in the future thanks hello player jj is in here um so like if you're listening to this when it actually releases next thursday i don't know the date the 14th the, sure the 14th um then keep your eyes out in discord um that's where we post that we're going live it's kind of like last minute usually like hey hey are we going live as is we're everything around sitting here down to yeah re- record so stay uh, tune in what's up thanks yeah, appreciate yeah. it if you uh, haven't check it out next time uh we have a bunch of reviews today too but we'll probably just do that at the end again uh yeah we yeah we'll, we'll wait till the All end right, to do cool. the reviews let's not forget i'm putting it in my notes right now Okay, good job. Uh, I guess today we're talking about the uh, the beast of 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 Bodmin. Bodmin. Bodmin, Bodmin Moore. It's a Bod. Bod, yes. <laughs> the nickname is Bod. It's a terrible nickname. I mean, it's better than your nickname. What is my name mic- nickname? That was my question for you. Is do you have one? Uh, I think the most I ever got called something other than my real name was Condor. I get called Connie by a select few people. Connie, um, the people, disrespect. Yeah, pretty much the people I work with, and I am your manager. But all right, here we are. Um, yeah, it's Condor. What are you, you just Jacob? I mean, I could tell you my nickname in my phone for the uh, no, time, maybe maybe not is... on that one. Uh, I uh, people to my uh, I I don't like being called Jake. Like I don't go by Jake, but people call me Jake. Just I'm like stop it. <laughs> just fucking stop it, dude. Did did I post? the instagram poll wrong a lot know, of people homie. are saying they're having problems with it uh you broke it it could be that if you're not a part of instagram if you don't have an account you can't vote could be that is the issue so if you don't have an account then you can't you can't vote i think you have to be logged in um to vote you could try it i posted will the try link in the discord uh, because i am not logged in on instagram i don't Correct. think i can see that shit even though Oh, you should be able to pull up the no, page. I, can't, I have to log in to view the story. Uh, okay. So yeah, that's the problem. Well, I, yeah. But people are maybe. seeing the story. Maybe uh, you just click they on are. this that's guy or this guy. Those are the two options. Uh, I should mention. Oh, okay. This the you Instagram click this. poll <laughs> is who wore it better. Oh, and and the yeah, two yeah, yeah. The two pictures posted are your two options. So this guy from Cats, the black cat, don't know his name, uh, or this mascot cat. Who wore the better cat outfit? <laughs> it's not good, but uh, like everything, again, last minute, and we needed something, so that's where we're at. All right, so uh, let's let's circle back and get on topic. Okay, I'm ready. What 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 is this one? Uh, hold on, this one oh, was shit. actually okay. suggested to us by oh. somebody in Discord. Um, Who on Discord? Alex X Eclipse Kitten. Okay, so thanks, Alex. Uh, hopefully, we do it justice. I guess. Uh, As Jacob okay. takes a sip of mead. Yes. Okay, so what is it? What what is it, Connor? Uh it is a black three to five foot, like a big cat panther. It's just, it's just a cat. Yeah, it's got yellow eyes, like a black cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's just where it's but, not supposed to be. Right. That's the whole uh, that's it, the whole thing. It's it's around Cornwall, England, or Bodmin Moor. So, so Cornwall is a county in southwest England. There's several like towns within this county. Uh, Bodmin is one of those towns, and a moor is a tract of open, uncultivated upland. Interesting. I have no idea what the fuck that means, to be honest with you. Uh, It's, I don't know. Nature. Nature. Yeah. That's that's where I'm at on that. I don't. I don't know. It's just. It's just. Yeah. Do we do, do we have any moors in Iowa? I feel like this I, would be a pretty moory state, you know? I don't, I don't know. Lots of wide open like prairie land. Where to find a moor? Oh my god. God damn it. Cornwall, England. <laughs> yeah, right. It's gonna that's just literally what it's going to be. Uh I don't know. It also took me to a link for pet smart, so I'm really confused. Alrighty. Based on your recent search history. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that was a weird one. Cat costumes. There is notable ones uh in pretty much everywhere. But oh. not in the Americas, South America. Not Interesting. In America. Do we have another name for it, maybe? Uh, Let's call it Prairie. I don't know. 
They have different type of grass life in England, different climate also. I mean, it's found in upland areas in temperature, in temperate grassland, savannas and shrublands and some other shit. I don't know. All right. Acidic soils and such. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It's beyond me. Sounds badass. All right. So, yeah, it's a cat. It is a cat. Not we're, we're talking about. It's just a normal just ass. Now. It's just a normal ass animal. Yeah. Just but it's it, but it's just in a sorts. place where that that animal isn't supposed to exist. Like, yeah, so it's just like it's supposed to be a panther, those. right? Yeah, in this like particular instance, okay. Giant black cat. I mean, not giant. It's not like yeah, it's, ten feet. Yeah, it's not it's like, like excessive for the size of a, a panther. panther. Right. It is the correct sizing. It's just there's not supposed to be panthers in in England. Yeah. Why? Why? Well, I guess the the main theory is that like the cat or cats had belonged to a zoo or private collector mm-hmm. and later escaped or were released. I saw it mentioned that it was not legal to own one as well, so it would not be likely that someone would call the authorities if their very illegal and potentially dangerous animal had escaped. Uh, rumor has it that when the Plymouth Zoo closed in 1978, an animal trainer by the name of Mary Chipperfield released three pumas into the wild. She Savage. Uh, allegedly claimed that the three pumas, two males and one female, escaped when her truck broke down. Uh, no investigation took place as releasing exotic pets wasn't illegal in Great Britain until 1981. Uh, in 1999, Mary Chipperfield was accused of uh, cruel treatment of some animals in her circus, which is what she went on to do after. Uh, in do? April 1998, an infant chimpanzee named Trudy had been seized by police and was taken to Monkey World Sanctuary after being repeatedly kicked, beaten, and made sleep in a tiny box. Chipperfield was found guilty of 12 counts of animal cruelty and fined uh, 8,500 pounds. Chipperfield passed away in 2014, but her husband says that the story is completely false. Interesting. I assume that's about the pumas, not like the yeah, the, the legal the, uh, yeah. proceedings. So in 1995, an official, an official investigation by the Ministry of Agriculture, Fishes, and Food concluded that, quote, no verifiable evidence for the presence of a big cat was found. There is no significant threat to livestock from a big cat in Bodum Moor. Uh, Less than a week after these findings were released, a young boy walking the River Fowey happened upon a large cat skull, which was about four inches long and seven inches wide. Though it lacked the lower jaw, it did have two sharp, prominent canine teeth that suggested that it may have been that of a leopard. The story hit national press about the same time as the official denial of the alien big cat evidence on Bodmin Moor. The skull was sent to the Natural Natural History Museum in London for verification. They determined that it was a genuine skull of a young male leopard, but also found that the cat had not died in Britain and that the skull had been imported as part of a leopard skin rug. The back of of the skull was cleanly cut off in a way that is commonly used to mount the head on a rug, and there was an egg case inside the skull that had been laid by a tropical cockroach that could not have been found in Britain. There was also cut marks on the skull indicating the flesh had been scraped off with a knife and the skull had begun to decompose only after a recent immersion in water. Hmm. Uh, author Benjamin Mee, uh, uh, he wrote the, the we, we Bought a Zoo. Never uh, heard of him. Just, you never heard of that? What is We Bought a Zoo? A book and then it was a movie and then it was another movie. Okay. Nope, uh, so, But the, apparently um, he believes the sightings are genuine and that they were, in fact, released by uh, Chipperfield, but that the remaining population of, but that, uh, but that the remaining population descended from the original three pumas have since died. According to him, quote, I think two whole generations of pumas managed to live on the moor until the winter of 2010, when the weather got so cold they all died. That's a pretty sound explana- explanation. Just like a couple of them managed to make it through, and then it just, just yeah, like even nope. like. Two generations, like, they had kids. I mean, so the, the biggest problem with this is, uh, I guess, like, there's no breeding population. Like, if there's a breeding population of animals, there is generally a lot of them. But cats are kind of scarce in that anyway and very solitary. So, uh, you know, I think they're, yeah, you know, how often or I guess how seldom do people see snow leopards? Like, I know those are endangered, but if these are I've never somewhere where they're not supposed to be, Oh, you've never seen one? Okay, I mean, I've seen one at a zoo. So. Uh, so climate is also another issue. The climate isn't supposed to be right for this kind of animal, uh, but I don't see why they wouldn't necessarily be able to thrive in a different environment 
Yeah, um, they're they're large cats. They could probably take down. I bet they have deer in that area or something similar. I'm unsure how that works because they're on an island. I mean, there's got to be some like at least small rodents. There's for sure like ground nesting birds. I mean, there's there's stuff to eat, and I mean, there's there's feral cats. Like, let's get honest about it. Oh uh, yeah, uh, sure. there's there's food. Um, I did see that. Um, it was alleged that Mary Chipperfield like released her, like of the two. There was two males and a female that was said to have been released there. She said she picked her two favorite breed, like, couple, Her, her pretty favorite much. breeding pair, and right. then another one. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, maybe they're her favorite because they produce well. Like, they produce kittens often or, like, you know, good kittens. Oh, okay. So they could maybe have lasted... They made good babies? ...longer than the, like, average puma. Okay. So, uh, so I guess on the, on the note of living in a place where it's not supposed to uh the like the nile crocodile and i believe it's pythons as well in the everglades like it's it's pretty much the same thing like private collectors releasing them or them escaping and then they're just decimating everything down there right now in florida yeah yeah not not the cats right but it's but the same it's the same sort of thing giant. it's just like yeah it's it, it's just a matter of the food supply then which that is hard to argue that being an issue yeah i i don't i also don't live in a place where there's like super large cats or predators like at all right yeah i mean what what's the worst we got uh p- pigs yikes <laughs> uh coyotes maybe is the worst okay a fox a coyote a, a the stray mountain lion that comes down uh, a mountain lion will make it in every once in a while or a bobcat but occasionally a bear it makes news when they come in it's yeah. not like so often that like yeah we should be worried about them pretty regularly Actually, I don't. Well, worry. We're, I think it's, it's we're in the middle of the state too, so when it when it does happen, it's usually like the northern side of the state. I mean, there was that one that was like downtown one, Des Moines. Yeah, yeah, that was actually just like what a couple of months ago. A year yeah, ago, not maybe. long and ago. Then what? Several years before that, there was another one that was like outside an elementary school, like a mountain lion, like Damn. right as school was about to get out. It was right. It was when I lived in Des Moines. Hmm. Where where at was that? Oh, close okay. to my apartment. Yeah, fairly close. Okay, that's nutty. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really unheard of. I think it's I don't just a know. big cat. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird. Like it doesn't I mean that's that's what it is. So it's not Is this not a cryptid? <laughs> I mean it is because they're not supposed to be there is the thing. So then is it is it in the sense that like because they don't like they're not if there's not a breeding population, they just exist and like occasionally, you know what I mean? Because yeah. like private collectors are releasing them, is that what the problem is? So then it's not like, is that still encrypted at that point? Or how does that I, work? I don't think I don't think so. We need to really... Counting uh, cats, I guess, <laughs> this week. <laughs> Shit. All right. Well, I guess... Um, I've got my... It's beginning to look like cryptid shirt on the worst episode. Oh, no. It's not. It's beginning to look like it isn't cryptids, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> this is a chatterbait? <laughs> That's good. Amazing. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, there it's is two science. UK has the UK has two native species of okay. cats that live in the wild. Uh domestic feral cats and wild cats. Feral cats are just like stray house feral cats. cats. They don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, just, it's just a fucking cat, okay? Uh the European wild cat is a little different, so it looks very similar and is on average bigger and stouter than domestic cats, has longer fur and a shorter, non tapering, bushy tail. It has striped fur on the dark and a dark dorsal band. Males average a weight of 11 pounds to 18 pounds, and females 7.7 pounds. Their weight fluctuates seasonally up to 5.5 pounds. European wildcats have uh, proportionately shorter cheek tooth rows with smaller teeth, but a broader muzzle than African wildcats. Since European wildcats and domesticated cats interbreed, it is difficult to distinguish wildcats and striped hybrids correctly on the basis of only morphology characteristics. So cats exist... It's just there's not anything How close big to this is, size. You know, an eighteen pound cat. Quite I mean, large. That's that's a good size a house cat. cat. Okay. That is a big house cat. What what's your cat weight? Twelve pounds? I have pounds? no idea. Twelve to fifteen pounds if I had to guess. Okay. Maybe maybe that's a little bit on the high side. Ten pounds is maybe more realistic. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Picking it up. I'd I, I want to say I want to say ten, my, maybe twelve pounds. My bigger cat is eleven something. And he's like skinny like in a yeah, weird yeah. way my cat's pretty fat roughly roughly around there so 
I don't know. I mean, an eight, 18 pound cat is big, but like, I know people who have like 20 pound house cats. Yeah. Like, that shit happens. And like, they're not like fat. There's big. And they're not five feet, three to five feet. Well, yeah. I mean, this is different. This is just like the wild cats that exist in the area that are, are pretty small. Yeah. They're not, they're not three to five feet. Even if they well, did interbreed with a house cat. That would be smaller. That's not going to make them any bigger. That Maybe it would make a house cat a little right. bigger, but like the sizing. But yeah, to get yeah. the color pitch black, because all the pictures I've seen, it's definitely not striped. Yes. Like the European it, wild yes, cat. Yes, it definitely looks like it is solid, just black. It looks it, like, like a, a there's a it's couple a of them. It literally looks like a panther in some of them, dude. It's fucking crazy. Maybe a and jaguar. There will be yeah, a black jaguar. Is that a thing? Aren't jaguars black? Oh god, I thought that what they color? were like Ooh, leopards. Leopards, maybe. Oh, that's a cheetah. Wait, so many. Different I don't even types remember what the fuck you just said. Jaguar? jaguar, like the car. No, they look like they're like cheetahs, sort of. They have like the spotty shit. Okay, okay. I'm mistaken calling them jaguars. Pumas are also tan, or are pumas black? Uh, no. Mountain lion and puma are the same. Same thing, thing. right? Uh, black panther, say... as far as I know. Did she release? Wait, black panthers are actually jaguars or leopards. If you look close enough, they have enough uh, or have enough bright light, you can see spots amongst the dark fur. Hmm. I did not know that. There's even been confirmed, a confirmed or documented case. There has never been a confirmed or documented case of a uh, mountain lion with this in the United States. Okay. Should we get on to some some of these sightings? People have seen of this black sure. cat, even though we've pretty much proved that it was just... It's just a cat? Uh, well, let's, yeah, let, let, it was like let's... a stray wild cat. You well, out of your domain. It, I don't think it's a wild cat, though. I think it's... Well, like, you know, like a puma, like a puma or a jaguar. Oh, like, like a fucking panther, like the one that it is? Yeah. Okay. Like, just like, fucking lost. Or released by people. Okay. Assholes. Yeah, it's stories. Tell me stories, Connor. All right, this one is super jank. This is the first one that I... I had down in my notes um this is on i think broadcast on bbc2 uh i don't remember the name but i couldn't find like just that at least one like docu series type there's there's supposed video. to be like at least two videos right did you find any of those i didn't all? find them okay. like in just themselves okay just like there was one place that i found them um i'll have to put the link in the yeah it was uh the title on YouTube is Big Cat Sightings, The Beast of Bo Bodmin uh, by Paranormal Reality. I'll put that link in the description if you want to check that out. But it has like, it's more like they're talking about it and then they add this segment from the show in um, and then kind of talk about it, I believe. It was like 39 minutes long, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. They They covered this story on that program the bbc2 program all right um about jane fuller she was taking her dog for a walk one night um they said multiple times that it was like a very moonlit night like implying that she could see i got i didn't ever seem like they were implying that she could see well but like she could probably see better than there was good light dark, yeah, out yeah that night she could see outside better um she was walking her dog and she got hit in the back of the neck and knocked out cold uh, which, you ever been hit in the back of the neck so hard that you just knocked out? Break your spine? Paralyzed from the, the neck down? Don't you, is, don't you get knocked out when your brain hits your skull? Is that a thing? Is that real? I don't know. I don't know anything about getting knocked out. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm cutting you off. Uh, so, I mean, it's not... That's like half of the story. So she woke up. Her dog that she was walking was like... Had a paw on her and like growling and snarling at something and so she turned and she saw this large black cat she thought it was like stalking them did the cat knock her out or did somebody throw a rock at her and then there just like happened to be a cat a, a stray house cat yeah like, like there's just the or fuck? like a wild cat just like passing by because she was out for five minutes so the cats wandered around and the dogs like piss i don't know yeah i mean it could have been any sort of cat the dog would be growling at it a large black cat no no information on estimated size or anything of said no cat? not really it's a pretty short segment all right cool maybe what, there's more out there but I, what more like do you I said have? i couldn't find what it. other stories Connor? uh this one's interesting this one was in 2016 uh there was a giant print in the mud dirt uh near saint Austell in october of 2016 the discoverer john parkinson 
uh, who is 44, of New Quay. I don't know what that is. He took pictures of him holding a tape measure up to the paw print, showing it was about four inches wide. Um, this, the like the photos that he took led people to believe that there was either a lion or a, another large cat on the loose. Um, but Parkinson wasn't sure what kind of animal would leave that kind of print. A lion, if it's the size of a lion. No, okay. I don't know what you're saying. You said it was the size of a lion. Perhaps. So what well, animal could leave a footprint the size of a lion? A puma. If it was as big as a lion, yes. I, I, thought that I have photos of some dude holding his hand up next to him. I don't know if that is. Oh, that's the same, same one. It is? Yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, the link that, will be, be in the description to some of those photos of the footprints. I believe I have that in here as well, but I thought it had a different date. What? Had October 2016. That would make more sense. Please hold. I uh, I don't see it in your notes. Oh, it's because it's in Notepad, not in my notes. What? I had it from. Oh you no, that's send, a different one. Even you didn't what send the fuck? Me all of your notes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I just fucked up. I don't know. Maybe I read it and forgot to add it. That sucks. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Anyway, I told this story, so it's covered. But we will have that link <laughs> Yes, of the hand and the paw print. It's very large. Definitely four it inches is, wide. It is. Um, maybe it's fabricated. Who knows? I mean, how do you how do you fake that? Um, you, like, just mold one? Uh, I guess in 2016, yeah. Yeah, That's you fucking 3D print a giant anymore. cat paw print and then God, in 2016? It. Totally. They existed, but they weren't like affordable to the point where you have to like take that into account. But why not? I mean, I guess, but that but seems unlikely. Like, people definitely like people have them for sure. But fanatic I don't... people like would have them. I guess, but I'm not saying like crazy people, like people that are All like. Right, but who goes out and hoaxes up... shit? Is it crazy people? I mean, somebody trying to fuck with people. Yeah, I don't know. I... What do you What do you get out of that? You're, you're A not good getting... chuckle, maybe. A little bit of publicity. That's, yeah, yeah. This player JJ four thirty on the the live Podbean says in twenty sixteen people were making home making three D printers, but there weren't any uh there weren't many market bought ones. So like people are making like fanatics, like I'm okay. saying. Like, very small niche group of people. Why would there be I, I don't know. They're just I'm just pulling if things out of my If butt. it's such a small group of people, you gotta assume that it's not negligible. Somebody's uh, yeah. somebody's taking the time to like Put one of those together, like the the amount of work that it takes to do now is like it takes like smart people like four days to put one together with instruction. It would take me a full fucking week I, I, to I put mean, one of those together. I built a computer we're three years but ago. It's like very exact. Like you have to like line things up exactly. So I don't know if I'd have the patience for it. I think it'd be cool, be interesting, but yeah, I don't know. Still now, it's not a huge thing. I mean, a lot of people it's it's not I, terrible like people do it and then they set up like etsy shops you know what i mean yeah, they you just, just like print a bunch figures of figures like, or like especially it seems uh pretty popular with people that like play those i don't want to call them board games because i'm probably gonna yell that but like they have the figures you dungeons know and dragons specifically there's a right. lot of that as well where people do that so they make can the figures and figures yeah. and stuff and uh people who uh do like model stuff where you like you know mm -hmm. cars and shit where you paint it yeah and i'd be into that shit if i had tabletop games yes that's what they're called thank you not board games. player thank jj you, thank you. mvp in the i chat. should know that i should know that thank you um i've also got one here from 2013 so okay yeah yeah many less home built 3d printers if any at this point <laughs> Um, the retired is that, is that how we're quantifying time now? Yes. It's just by the by the availability of 3D printers in one's home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Today on counting 3D printers. Oh no. Uh, so in July 2013, Sid Yates, a retired salesman, spotted a wild animal crossing across the lane near Red Roof. I would like to point out you have the words "animal crossing" next to each other. Yes. Continue. Am I not supposed to? No, it's a fucking game, so I, I can't not. Okay. Just giving you shit. Um, so Red Ruth, where he saw the animals, is only about 30 miles from Bodmin. So okay. not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Sid said, I came out of my house yesterday morning at 9 a.m. And as I looked up the lane, about 50 yards in front of me was the Beast of Bowden. I thought to myself, good God, there's another one. It looked at a bit like a black Labrador, but had longer legs and tail and a flat nose. It was definitely the beast of Bodmin, and I'm, and not a dog. I 
It then crossed the road and got into the old stables near my house and disappeared. I spoke to other people in the village about it, and they said there was a sighting a few years ago on the other side of the village. Uh, the 72-year-old goes on to say that it was his third sighting to date. Um, he also said that he had seen the beast near Hale saying a couple of years ago as i was driving in the area i saw the beast of bodmin in my headlights first i thought it was a black labrador but realized it but late but realized it wasn't i think it's supposed to be in there notes are good it wasn't scared of me and i was only about 10 yards from it i got a really good sighting you definitely know the difference between a cat and a dog like at first i understand them looking the same but mm -hmm. then like once you're like oh it's a dog and then as soon as you realize it's a cat like like, oh, that's the tail is so fucking different on a cat from a dog, dude. Are there any animals out there that are like fucking borderline canine cats? A bear. Bears are scary. Yeah, but they're they're you know obviously a bear. They don't have tails either. Okay, off topic. Really? Who would win in a fight? Okay. A bear, or like you know a jaguar. A bear. You think so? Yeah. The real the real question is a bear or a gorilla. Correct. That. All right, all right. So, okay, he's got bear. bear. Okay, no, no, bear versus gorilla. Give me your answers now. Current poll, bears versus gorilla. Bear again? Double bear. What the fuck? It's. I feel like that one's tough. Bear and a gorilla. All right, well, slightly back on subject. Um, So this is specifically in regards to the Florida panther. But God, everybody's saying another, bear. Another fuck, bear. okay. So in regards to the, the Florida panther, because technically the European – panther doesn't exist so i don't have that information to pull mm -hmm. from but um adult males may range over an area of 200 square miles so being 30, 30 miles, miles away is nothing. is nothing females range 70 to 80 square miles so again that's that's well within these ranges here that and doesn't seem unrealistic to be 30 with miles away from no that other spot cats too, so. like i feel like it's it's like the it's, this is our area like it's for cats. It's very defined their like, territories. Yeah, and you don't go into another one. And so I would assume so. Yeah, with probably no other competing things. I mean, two hundred well mi and meters with, or miles. But with they're so far away from where they're supposed to be or whatever the deal is too. Like they might not really yeah. adhere to that. Right. Exactly. And with they're with none of that too, around. like because they don't find an area of like a definitive line of like I'm not supposed to cross this line because it doesn't exist, or maybe it right. does because of the wildcats. But they're like, oh fuck it, I don't care. Probably eat the fucking wildcats, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Why not? Several times the size. Uh, I've got a couple that were seen in a garden. Ooh, okay. Uh, the first one here uh, is from Carol Des Forges. Um, she saw a large cat prowling the garden outside of her house on the outskirts of Plymouth. Uh, again, only 30 miles away from Bodmin, so well within where a cat would go. Um, it captured a. She captured a few photos of the creature from her living room in July 2015. I will pull these you up. We'll have link to photos. Oh yes, this one's weird. That looks like a fucking Tasmanian tiger. It's like a thylacine to me. The way it's holding its tail. Yeah, straight out almost. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. If that that's... one's tough because it does. It does look more like a dog, but the tail is so big. I don't think that's a dog. I'm gonna post this in chat. Where uh, I need that back here. In chat. In is it chat? And see... check this out. Hey, uh, Link. Let me know what you think that looks like. I, I it it looks feline. It for sure does. It just the first thing I see when I see it is especially the those scene. front paws, the way they're like, it, yeah, very cat like. I mean, it's definitely a good sized cat. You know, but is it? I mean, it, is it unrealistic to for a cat to be three feet? I mean, I think the the biggest house cat was just over three feet. I mean, that's quite a large cat, but that doesn't that looks like very much closer to three than five. I would agree. Uh, the world's largest house cat, longest house cat, uh, Ludo, as long as living, was measured at 3.88 feet long in 2015. Maybe that's the same one. I mean, it doesn't look anything like that. Oh, damn. It's like orange and floofy. Oh, okay. Or like gray. But they mean, these might be like hybrids. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like Definitely. if it is like a hybrid, like with a wild cat or something. But then now there's, there's these like savanna cats and like the the ones that look uh -huh. like leopards that are really big too, and people are getting link, having like lynxes as pets and shit. So it's hard to say, but I mean, as, as far as like a domesticated, how tame are hair, those? Do you have any idea? Which ones? Like the savannas the and stuff? And shit? No, not like you. You give that thing like a whole fucking turkey. A uh, player it's like JJ. a dog head with a cat tail. Yes, it sure does. Uh, but the fence is there. I don't know. It could. I mean, it does. <sighs> It's a crappy photo. Just a really mangy cat. 
I, I remember. I, so I remember some of this. I don't remember if it was specifically this, but I'm going to get into this stuff in a little bit about just like British big cats in general, because this is a phenomena that exists in a lot of places, a lot in England, in the UK specifically, I guess mm-hmm. not in England. Yeah. Uh, but I remember seeing uh, like a TV show about this. I don't know. I was probably like 16 or something when I watched it, but then they were like, so they have like a photo of it. It's like, cool. This is like where I'm standing when I take the picture. And then they, go out yeah like, yeah cool it was right behind it went in like it was in front of so this bush it was behind it. this bush so it was right about here so if we like put things down we can get size estimates and stuff and so like that's where they're getting a lot of these size estimates and that seems pretty, pretty legit. Accurate, yeah. yeah i mean if you can because these people are just at their houses and stuff so they can go like, out hey, there I with was like standing right a chair here. or with a tape measure even you know what i mean or whatever it is and like mark it off and then you just scale it on the photo so i don't i don't know seems pretty easy it certainly it is definitely it doable feels like something i could do even yeah 100 percent. i'm pretty stupid uh so that was uh she did have some quotes here let me see her friends i guess i guess had suggested puma a lynx or a leopard uh, okay she says carol says i guess it remains a mystery i enjoy the speculation about it all and then she goes on to say that i don't know what it is but people have been suggesting it could be some kind of big cat a puma or a lynx have both been mentioned. I don't know what it is, but I've never seen anything like it before. Hmm. I've never seen anything like that before. It's a cat. What do you mean? It's it's a large cat. It's, just a, it's a cat? I've never seen a cat. The photo's really grainy. It's not good, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you, if you, I mean, player JJ checked it out, so he can probably attest to the crappy quality. This other one here is very weird. Okay. And I don't really... Like, also in a garden? Uh, yes, but is not actually like a sighting of the cat. Uh, Let me see. Okay. Let's let's visit uh St. Mabin in January of 2018. Uh so a severed dog's leg was found by the owner of the Gleb and Cot Bed and Breakfast. Um Steve Callip is his name and he went on to say, "I went out in the garden yesterday afternoon and everything was normal. I went out again at 8 p.m. to take the dog out for a walk and there was nothing. But at 9 p.m., I saw something white on the lawn, and it was a dog's leg. Uh, he reported the finding to the police, and a vet confirmed that it was indeed a leg from a dog. Uh, it is a complete mystery, Steve said. We don't know if an animal did this or if the dog was caught in a trap, but the foreleg looks very healthy, and no dog is reported missing in the area. It is a totally bizarre thing. Ugh. Yeah, super weird report to have included in this research, but it was it was in the article hmm. about it. So I don't know if they're, if he's suggesting that a cat did this I mean, there or was if it a is a severed of... cat leg. Oh, I think he was suggesting that the cats did it. There was okay. some some uh, implications of like... Livestock and stuff getting uh, attacked. Yeah, mutilations and right. things of that nature. It was just dead, uh, I want to say sheep specifically in one instance as well. I guess I can start to talk about some of this shit a little bit. So um, the uh, as far as like other similar cats you know what i mean this this thing, again this exists across the uk uh yeah. the beast of buchan is pretty much the exact same thing uh <sighs> allegedly a leopard on the north in northeast scotland with origins dating back to the 1930s uh, another uh writings in the book of rural rides uh the author uh william Kobe describes seeing a cat similar in size to a medium-sized spaniel when he was a child in surrey during the 1760s he identified it as the same type of animal as a lynx he saw years later in america the keeping of exotic pets on large british country estates was not unheard of by the middle of 18th century and circuses began traveling with menagerie in eight 1865, five leopards escaped from their cages while being transported between Lockby and Moffat. All were recaptured, but it did happen. Uh, in 1997, <laughs> puma prints were found in the Bodmore area. That might be the one that was 2016. That's just a brief thing. I have 1997. Okay. That might be uh, that 2016 one. And I could be wrong in my notes, too. Sorry. Well, the photo I have when I looked at it, I was like, there's no way this photo was taken in 97. So okay. that, that makes more sense. Um, in a 2006 survey... It indicated that there was 6,000 sightings of exotic cats in the preceding five years. I had one more. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so uh, then there is some confirmed big cats in the UK that I have that are less like, oh, yeah. But like, so in 1903, a Canadian lynx was shot in uh, Devon and is now in the collection of the Bristol Museum. 
analysis of the teeth suggests that prior to his death, it had spent a significant amount of time in captivity. In 1980, a puma was captured in Evanshire, Scotland. The capture followed several years of sightings in the area of a big cat matching the description of the one captured, which had led uh, local farmers, Ted Noble, to erect a cage trap. The puma was subsequently put into the Highland Wildlife Park Zoo and given the name Felicity. When it died, it was stuffed and placed in uh, a museum. Zoo director Eddie Orbel concluded that the animal had been tamed and might not have been released for long, noting that it enjoyed being tickled. I will what? have a photo of Felicity. That might be like, you know, it, it's, it, was, it was tamed. You know what I mean? It dealt with people. It was used to, like, it, it seemed like it had come from somebody. Oh, that's okay. in Scotland. So that's this, like, the beast of uh, whatever I just fucking said but a second ago. Buscan or whatever. Yeah. So that's yeah, they're that's like pretty much straight there. So then uh again, 1989, a jungle cat had been hit by a car that had been hit by a car was found on the roadside in Shropshire. In 1991, a Eurasian lynx was shot near Norfolk, Norwich, Norfolk. It had killed around 15 sheep within two weeks. The story was only reported in 2003, and the stuffed body of the lynx is allegedly now in the possession of a collector. For many years, this incident was considered to have been a hoax, particularly by the hunting community. But in March of 2006, a police report confirmed that the case was in fact true. It was probably an escapee from a facility in the area that bred animals, including this type of lynx. Uh, in 1994, a reported large cat with leopard pattern fur had been shot in the Isle of Wight uh, sometime earlier after feasting on chickens and ducks. The shooting was not immediate, immediately reported as farm workers involved feared prosecution, but police reportedly conclu concluded that the animal was an ocelot or serval, uh, which the, the serval is the one that they make the coffee. It eats coffee beans and shits them out, and then they uh, take the the shit beans and you make ever coffee had that? out of it. No, would you? No. Yeah, fuck that. Drink poop you, water. I'm glad you agree. Like, oh my god. I no, thank you. Uh, there have been reports that in 1990, 1993, yet another puma was captured in Scotland. Uh, this time in a different area. That is all I have on that specific. Uh, 1996 police in uh, Northern Ireland shot a cat. It was reportedly a uh, medium-sized wildcat species found in Africa and Asia, although a police report described it as a lynx. Uh, they're not technically a member of that, but uh, and in a well-reported 2001 case, a young female Eurasian lynx was captured alive by police and vets in Cricklewood, North London, after a chase across school playing fields and into a block of flats. It was placed in the London Zoo and given the name Laura before ultimately being transferred to a zoo in France to breed. The captured lynx was found to be only 18 months old, though considerably larger than the average domestic cat. Do you think uh, they named it after, like, Laura Croft? Why? Because they spelled it like Laura Croft. I don't, maybe that's just like a European way to spell Laura. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right, but I just wanted the cat to be named Laura Croft. Uh, all right, man. Sure. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> uh, where's this other one? I have one more. Oh, yeah. Okay, so in 2016, the Dartmoor Zoo lost a rare lynx named Flevu. F-L-A-V-I-U. I'm not sure how to say that. Flavu? Uh, they lost it for like a month. So from July 7th to 31st, this dude was on the loose. I got a picture of him. I'll have in the description. But there was just a missing lynx for a month. They got they finally found it. They had some traps out and got him captured. Oh, there, okay. But like, yeah, uh, yeah, right there. The Mysterious Universe article. What a cute cat. Yeah, I like the lynx. They're Short pretty tail. neat. Short tail lynx. Connor posting a photo of Flavu. Flavu right there. Uh, so there are a couple of big tack of cats as well. So in 2000, uh, an 11 year old boy in Monmouthshire was attacked by what he claims was a large black cat. It left him with five long claw marks across his chest. The police called the big cat expert in to investigate. Chester's the incident. cheek. Uh, it says cheek. I said okay, chest. Okay, I just wanted to verify. It definitely it. says cheek Maybe in you my have notes. Some information nope, I am just know. reading quickly. In 2005, a man who lived in Seedham Park in southeast London was attacked in his back garden, which backed onto a railway line. The man, who was six feet tall and weighed 210 pounds, described the cat as being a big black figure that pounced on him and was considerably stronger than he was. He was left with scratches all over his body. Police were called, and according to the BBC, one police officer saw a cat the size of a Labrador dog. Damn. 
That is a big fucking cat. I just want to say that that guy from the, the 11 year old boy from Monmouth Sire uh -huh. uh, in 2000 would be older than we are now. He would be 30. <sighs> he would, in fact. In 2000, and, if he was 11, that means he was born in 89. Yeah. She's as old as my wife, I believe. I mean, you were born in 91. Yeah. So I, I bet he's got a badass scar on his face. I uh, once had a very small scar. I don't remember if it was on my cheek or on my hand or where it was, but it was like a scab. It was in like first grade, but I remember like bragging to girls that I got it from sick. a saber tooth tiger. <laughs> <laughs> it was such an elementary school. Oh, like, it was it up. was fucking fire, dude. It was good. <laughs> Panty dropper. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so uh, in 2019, a man in Cornwall hey. reported that a six-foot black cat attacked him through an open window that it was trying to get through. He described it as being crossed between a domestic cat and a panther. He claimed to have reported it to the police, but that they were not interested and threatened to take action against him if he called again. What a cop-out, dude. Just... Yeah, that sucks. I mean, he allegedly reported it like, fuck off. Don't prank me again or I'm going to sue you. I've been calling for three days now. This cat is in my yeah, house. I literally can't get out of my house. This cat has me pinned here. But that's interesting that he described it as being a cross between like a black panther and a house cat. So that means like it looks like a house cat, but it's the size of a panther. I mean, what if it... God, that, that would be terrifying. Imagine my cat six foot. I would be scared. That's that's large. I'm just looking up cats right now. Oh, I was looking up an ocelot. I like these ones because they look like a panther. So I wonder if an ocelot would ever have that uh, same thing. Because like we just found out earlier that the black panther is it has those spotted things. It's just mm -hmm. like a thing where it's, it's like, like, okay, you could be born albino. But then the inverse of that is so then you're like, it's just all black. all black in that instance, but like you can still see the spots. So these things have spots. So I wonder then if they can be all black. Um, yes, black ocelot. Does it look like a panther? I mean, this one is just a panther. Uh, most of them are just like uh, like Photoshop edit. It was just an ocelot that the photo is in black and white. It's not actually like God damn it. a full on. It's not helpful. I know. I was going to look for be black. Be black. Can an ocelot be black? I mean, it definitely has black fur within its coloring, so I'm not, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't see it as specific, like a photo of it's just a black a jaguar. You know what I mean? It's hard yeah. to, then I can't tell either. And then it's just like domestic cats and shit, so it's hard to say. But how big is an how big is an ocelot? I don't think they're that big. Maybe three, four feet. Yeah, I would guess. But I guess it's kind of big. Uh, two point two to three point three feet. Eight. <sighs> 18 to 44 pounds. 44. That's a thick A 40 count. Ah, uh, boy. A 45 pound cat's pretty big. My right. dog's my dog's 50 pounds, and that shit's a handful. Like, I can't even imagine like a 50 pound cat. Because that probably, probably would probably be able shit. to jump onto like the roof of my house. Yeah. Like a single story, you think? A cat the size of your dog. My cat, my big cat, can jump from the floor to the top of the fridge. 100% could jump to the, to the ceiling, uh, to your roof. I'm wondering if this, like, you know what I mean? You have a, a four foot cat. It weighs 45 pounds. You think it could jump 10 feet? You got to literally like fence your backyard and just let that thing loose if it's that big. To be you, honest you with have you. To, like, no, you have to cage the whole thing in right. and stuff around. Yeah, people who have pets like, and stuff like that. Damn. I know we kind of talked about this very similar thing uh, uh, in the the Beast of Busco episode with uh, like releasing uh, pets mm -hmm. into the wild sort of thing. Quick PSA, don't do that. Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of an invasive species? Yes. Especially if it's a large predator like this cat that it, like is three times the size of regular cats in the area and probably anything else like i'm sure that there's like deer like things that might be like comparable in size but he probably has the upper hand and uh probably could take down whatever those are yeah um also uh, or excuse me the the servals yeah um stand about two feet at the shoulder and weigh up to 40 pounds so that's a large know. cat it leaps over two meters 6.7 inches from the ground. That doesn't seem very high. I mean, jump over me, pretty much. So you said inches. Six feet, seven inches. You said, oh, I thought you said six. Six, six point seven. I probably seven. did. Six feet, seven inches. Okay, okay. That, that's, yeah. Over my head. That's scary. You could attack your face. I've never seen one of these at a uh, zoo, maybe in Omaha? I'm sure I've seen one before. Yeah. They don't seem like a totally unique species, per se. 
I mean, there's a lot of cat species. Correct. Which totally fucking weirds me out. And like, I was listening to something the other day, and they're like, they think that cats domesticated themselves is how they word it. Like, so like, everybody's heard the thing. So it's like basically because humans started storing grains and things of that nature. So then, along with that. Yeah, I don't know there what uh, Atticus just posted in Discord. A lot of mice and uh-huh. rodents that were trying to get to that. So then the cats just kind of came along and they wanted to eat the mice. So they were just trying to be cool with the people because they're like, "Well, I don't. You're you, bigger you, than man, I am. Like, yeah. just let me eat the mice, and then it's, that's a mutually yeah, beneficial, beneficial relationship yeah. because we get rid of the mice and the rodents, and they're kind of cute, so we keep them around anyway, and they get to eat all the the mice that they want, and we don't shoo them away, and they can." stick around with us where it's safer and yeah I mean, and so then yeah I mean, it's a really cool idea um it's i like it a lot more than the idea of wolves to dogs because i don't feel like there's there's not like there's definitely like a, a cats that have been like genetically modified to be look a certain way like it's obvious with but the majority of the cats, selective breeding i think is right. specifically the word not genetically it's, modified right i mean it's like a less i feel like we we mess with the dogs a lot more than we've messed with cats well in so a genetic dogs way. different breeds of dogs were made that way for a purpose right so cats there's don't. working dogs there's hunting dogs you know what i mean there's guard dogs there's all kinds of things so all of these dogs are bred with these specific traits and like okay well i want this dog to be bigger for this reason or i want this dog to be faster for this reason or xyz and then you just keep breeding to get this this super dog that is what you want it to be and maybe that's why cats most of the time are like so passive because they they just like kind of were always on the outskirts like you know just kind of stay they out just of the way exist with you right whereas the dog is like More, I, I i am your life yeah exactly my cat couldn't give a shit if i was here as long as i fed him in water i mean him. my cat my cat enjoys me being around like they come when they're called they shake like my cats oh, my do cats some are, things my cat's like, an asshole they're they're pretty all right um but the, yeah it is it is definitely a different relationship than than the one with a dog yeah i do i do love both of my cats as well as my dog but it is it is a different like they are 100 percent very different definitely not the same animal no and yeah I, I, I mean that was that was off topic yeah you kind, know, i kind of we veered tradition. off there but as we'll find out in the reviews i mean sorry yeah uh-huh. so what do we do is what it is you do you we'll just keep doing this i guess factual uh, you got any more stories or you know evidence for against this just big cat in England? Um, I think I have everything that I have in my notes. Yeah, that's all I got. So, what do you what do you think? Where are you at? I think that it is just a cat that somebody owned that got released. I don't know how often like things like that happen, but it seems like I don't know, there was at least three cases over time. Well, so that happened. it seems that. There was a like it, it wasn't uncommon for people to own these at one point in time, but then, like, as legislation passed and laws changed around owning them and things of that nature, then there's additional costs and licensing and things that people had to do, and then they had to start spending more money, and then that just didn't become realistic. So, I would imagine at like the same time, there's multiple people releasing different species of large cats because they're like, well. I don't, the law is kind of uncertain about this. Like, I don't want to go to prison for having this big cat around just for the sake of having a big cat around. Yeah. Kind of just like. Possibly releasing. interbreeding with the, the stray cat population. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know how, if that works that way. I know the, the wild cats and um, the feral cats can oh, interbreed, yeah, yeah. but I don't think like a that's jaguar like three fuck foot, a house five cat. Foot cat. Make a, yeah, I don't think it works that way. Unless that's where the wild cats come from. If a jaguar is just. But, bounce around yeah that's uh i don't think the the house cat lives through that encounter Never. um <laughs> no no probably not yeah so i mean but again this is like this isn't unrealistic to me whatsoever 100 i don't see zoos circuses and tons of things passing by even if you know one or two got out or in that case three like duh, i i don't like you know even if the food is scarce the winters are cold i think they could exist in small populations. Yeah. And I mean, if you have cool, like if like that, that story about uh, Mary, whatever her last name was, Chipperfield or something, Chipper or something. If, if that is true that she released Dales. three and one of them is a breeding pair, they would kind of stick with one another. So then, yeah. I mean, they're already an adult one. Cool. If they and got they're already a, acquainted, I would assume those three cats know them 
pretty well. I don't know how I don't know how they get along. I'm unsure of how that works. Like again, like when you have one female and there's two males, I it I mean if you're like they would and they're in the circus get... together, like they have to be, you know, trained. I don't know. Uh, what that, kind was, of that was that was I believe they were in a zoo. A zoo. Okay. Well maybe that was when the zoo was closing in nineteen seventy eight. Maybe they were in the same enclosure. You know, so they they coexisted. Oh, presumably they would be, yeah, yeah, yeah. They coexisted together for so long that okay. you know you just kind of well again with a with a 200 better. mile range on the males what are the odds that they're running into each other regularly unless they're doing it intentionally and i don't think that's a th- i think they would probably try i don't to know avoid how it. off like how far they travel in any given day or you oh, okay know, fair enough yeah. i don't know how fast that they can move that 200 so i mean depending on that you know more or less likely to, to run into each other but if they're breeding i know i don't i don't know how long it takes for a cat to get to like sexual maturity where it could interbreed with interbreed or like breed with this third cat male uh so as far as like like house cats are much shorter they they're done growing and they're they're like everything at like a year and a half you know what i mean but well before that so but it's specifically jaguars uh the females reach sexual maturity at the age of three and males of four both have a lifespan of about 20 years okay three or four is when the uh, females reach sexual maturity at three and the males at four. Okay, and so it's not unrealistic that that third male could. Well, mate. if there is not a like legitimate population of them, it's not going to take that big of a hit on the local wildlife. Could you look There's up not how many? many you know what I mean? Kids they have kids, offspring, cubs in a cubs. litter okay. of panther. Two, three. I had to guess based on my knowledge of the Lion King. Panthers can leap as high as 20 feet. Oh, damn. They can leap over my house. Two stories. Okay, maybe to my roof. He could but... jump onto your balcony, no problem. That's terrifying. That's scarier than zombies. Uh, at a top speed, they can run about 35 miles an hour. Okay, so I can't outdrive them? Just kidding. And they're also very stealthy. They often are referred to as ghosts of the forest. So again, maybe this, uh, yeah, something that would play into not being seen very often, but at the same time, kind of being seen very often. And they call it on occasion. Did we mention this? Phantom By the cat? age of two, a panther is living on their own in their own territory. Oh damn! Just, they'd be out like that. Okay, here we go. The gestation period for a panther is about three months. When giving birth, a female panther delivers between two and four cubs. Two and four, okay. You have harsh winners. It's probably closer to two. Panthers can begin catching medium-sized prey at the age of nine months. So three months for them to grow and be born. Two to four of them are born. Uh, at nine months, they're catching food on their own. So one full year after being knocked up, they're, there they're are four cats. things out there actively killing and eating. Yeah. Hmm. And yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, and it, it really doesn't seem that unrealistic to me. Yeah, I would like... Like, it's weird. I get it. It's like, oh, you're on an island. Where the fuck did this big cat do? It didn't just swim here, you know? But, like... Yeah, obviously. It didn't just but... swim there, which means somebody fucking brought it there. Like, somebody. people are seeing them. Like, hey, I don't have any other answer. It's... Yeah. It, and there's I think no so. real reason to make it up. No, it's just... It's, somebody's like, yo, there was, like, a fucking five-foot cat out there. Is anybody going to, like, do something like, oh, about yeah, this? Oh, yeah, I saw one a couple years ago. Yeah, that's just what it is. It's just, oh, yeah, you know, you, you just and, see them. People, you know, it's we're a thing. Re- removed from this culture in england mm-hmm. uh, it, it the w- articles that i saw made it sound like it was a pretty common thing like uh, yeah everybody's was, seen I one at least once it. it's some well, like guy six thousand in instances reported in a five-year period so they're not that rare six thousand sightings of exotic cats in the preceding five years in a survey in 2006 and they've caught in some like they, they've there was a bunch that they had caught two, there was three. a bunch that had shot and been stuffed like it's this isn't a cryptid I'm sorry. I mean, it is in the sense that it is somewhere where it doesn't exist. It's just a matter of how it got there. But it definitely I suppose, exists. Then, is the question. It's it, out of place. It seems that it does. I don't think that there's like an existing breeding population, really. I mean, if there is any, that it's, it's just like very, it's very dwindling small, down yeah. because of this this exact thing right here. It's, it's, it's just running out of, you know, it's not supposed to be where it's at. So it can survive a little bit and then it just it just fades away. Yeah, it's just not going to happen long term. I assume you are on the same page. Uh, yeah, I think I think so. Okay. Un- I, unfortunately. 
Uh, if you... This is an interesting topic, though. A hundred percent. We talked about this before we started recording, but not uh, in the episode. They refer to these uh, like British big cats as phantom wild cats or alien big cats. So there is sometimes some confusion where it seems like they're like ghost cats. Yeah. Not to be confused with my ghost cat. But not it's, it, that's cat. not like it is just like the terminology used to describe these like alien in the sense that it is like foreign. Not- yeah, 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 Fanta- yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's using these words as like, yeah, that's not supposed to exist here, but it does. So that's just and it's that's seen what so using. often that it, you know it's like a phantom. Like he's a phantom. I guess what is the technical definition of the word phantom? A ghost, a figment of the imagination. Okay, see, maybe that's what they're going for there. That seems like a more smarter thing to say than just a ghost. A, yeah, figment of your imagination, cat. That sounds very UK. It's really trolly, but at the same time, if 6,000 fucking people are reported seeing that in under five years. And uh, and imagine the amount of people that have not reported it. Or yeah, there's just those anecdotal things that's not like actually being reported to like a newspaper or like the police or anything. It's just like, a, if it's not causing a problem or whatever, it's just like, oh yeah. Or like you already know, like X amount of people have already seen it. It's just a fucking thing. What do you care if you see one? You're not going to, I don't know. I saw a fucking 10-point buck on my way here, just running through yeah, a field. Yeah, I was going to say, if I we... I didn't call anybody about it. If we count this as a cryptid, do we also count the, you know, mountain lion that was in Des Moines or, you know, seen ever so rarely in Iowa? Fucking the news act like it is every damn time. Like, I, at least four or five times in my lifetime that I remember there being, like, a, you know, a wildcat in our fucking area. You're not supposed to be there. Like, what the fuck? I mean, so, yeah, known animals in areas they are not known to inhabit is technically a cryptid. A cryptid. A cryptid. It's decrypted. Known animals of, of un. Oh, God. I keep getting these fucking pot. Like, Mozilla, Firefox, critical error, contact Microsoft support. You should really be using Chrome. I, uh, I like the way that Firefox works better for stuff for work. Okay. So I'm just, like, in the habit of using Firefox. I enjoyed Firefox up until I went to PC and Windows. And I've used Chrome, but I'm looking for a new one. Opera XP, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. Could be promising. I haven't tried it yet. Fucking go task manager that shit. Damn. Will you save your notes? Yeah. Oh, no. My notes are still there. It's that web page. It's weird. Okay. Uh, Yeah, again, assuming you're same page, I don't see that this is unrealistic. Yeah, it's probably there. Okay. I don't think that they, like, existed there all this time. I, I think they were brought there by people and released or escaped from zoos, circuses, private collectors, etc. That's where I'm at. I agree. Why don't you, listeners, head on over to social media and let us know what you think about that uh, while you're there. We have some other polls that we will be getting into shortly. But first, I need to ask Connor the question of uh, who he thinks would win in lay altercation. I Did we did we do any poll last week at we all? We didn't do a poll last week, so we will not have poll results, but we do have reviews and replace. Okay, cool. Uh, so which one are we going to... What do we do? Because we did two episodes. If you didn't know this, uh, we were going to mention this at the beginning of the episode. We did, we did two. We released two episodes last week. Yeah, yeah. So should. if you only saw that we did one, because there's a lot more download numbers. Uh, For it, it seems as though a lot Night- of people only saw that, that Fresno Nightcrawler was The out. Fresno Nightcrawler's episode existed. Um, but we also, also did one on the Jin. Also, the the Jin. Yeah, the Jin is our episode, other episode we did. Um, Technically, episode 20, I believe. Uh, that, that was 19. 20 19, was okay. Fresno. So I mean, that's the way that I it was. It. it was more of our full release episode. <laughs> yeah, that was the full one. And the Fresno was like a short one that was just kind of more like a bonus episode idea. So let's go with the gin then, as far as the one v one. So who okay. do you think would win between the gin and the, the phantom wildcat? And yeah, the gin. Yeah, a demon. To, yeah, yeah. You know I mean, it could turn into a a bigger wild big cat. Yeah, or a dog. Literally, that was a thing anything, sometimes too. Yeah, and yeah. A dog, big black dog, right? Was it big? Well, yeah, but that was technically that was the hen. Remember that the the Mm. dog was specifically associated with, but it couldn't transform into a wolf. Couldn't, yeah. So specifically, those wolves were predators of the gin. I still think a giant jaguar would kill. Well, fuck! If a wolf is a predator of the gin, could then, could then, that be the case? It's a gin as the puma. No, no, no. If would would the would the the would bod win? If 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 a wolf is the predator of the gin. Why then would not a giant, a, a black cat could take a wolf and a if wolf If it's the is, size of a goddamn lab, it's the same size as a fucking wolf. Damn, it's you've the changed same my size. mind. 
Because I think that a, a jaguar could fairly easily kill a wolf. I believe so as well. If a single wolf. The wolf's advantage is that it has a pack. Wolves still fuck shit up, but I True. think I think a, a big cat takes a wolf. Definitely. Even maybe two wolves, to be honest with you. Well, it's the the like going for the throat shit, you know, and just like being able to like the claws, the, claws, the teeth. Hide what in a tree and shit too. Teeth? I mean dogs have teeth and like their their nails aren't for nothing for sure. Yeah. But they can still if a dog was like trying to dig into you literally, like that would just sure, hurt. It wouldn't it wouldn't feel good. No. There's not a back massage. It's yeah, so a it's massacre. That's a tough one, but I do think a big cat wins in that fight. Um, yeah, and in that regard, so uh, so does it takes out a gin. Uh, or, over here in the comments, we also uh, money is in large cat over wolf. Okay, so again, agreed. Large yes. cat takes a wolf, so I that's I, I three might to go, zero. I might go cat. I might go bot yeah, on this yeah, one yeah, over we, gin. That's good. That's great. I'm happy with that. Me as well. Let's let's, let's go, uh, Bodman Moore. All right. Let me know if I also persuade you over on social media. This week's poll is that very question. Uh, again, we do not have poll results from last week because the way we did shit. Uh, sorry, but our apologies. We're back. Just the way things were uh, worked out. So we do have several reviews, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Let us start with the bad ones, Connor. Let's let's start with the worst one. Let's start with the bad ones. Title difficult to listen to. Um, this is from C three five four five. Couldn't even put a real C three PO's third cousin twice removed. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't do the math on it. Um, but it says no orga no organization and uh, period rambling period. That's it. I mean factual. Yeah. Also true. And it's so rough too because like I feel like the first season of the show was is really pretty rough. Bad. I know we've we've talked about this in Discord a couple of times 100%. and everybody's like, What are you talking about? Like I love season loved, one. Yeah, they're like, the best. They're really? the best. What episode. the fuck are you talking about? I thought that shit was really rough. I feel like maybe like episode four of this season like really was a turning point. I think like Montauk Monster was like really where shit started to like kinda take hold a little bit better. Uh but I feel Whatever. like that's the thing. It's yeah. like I don't know if they just like listen to the first three episodes. Like this is fucking trash, and then they just you know what I mean. Like I don't yeah. know if that's where people are getting turned off or what the deal is. But uh, fair enough. I mean, can't it's please everybody. Yeah, it's definitely not a show for everybody. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Just like the next person, one though, yeah. I do have an issue with. This uh, rich eight gave us two stars. Too much foul language. Almost every other word is a swear word. Too much for me. I rebranded the show a year and a half ago. The first line in the show description is. An excessively explicit. Yes. What the fuck do you think you're getting into here, homie? Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ, Rich. Like, uh, yeah, all right, I get it. There's a lot. Read but again, I have branded the show as such because I know that's a thing. I have seen other people's, like, podcast people. Like, There's, I can't believe, like, how much language this is and stuff. Like, it well, I don't really want anybody. As much. I don't as really much. want anybody. Like, if that's not what you're after, like. That's fine. You don't need to be here. I'm gonna put this straight away in the very beginning. I swear yeah. a lot. Yeah, the, the amount of cuss words is gonna be over your limit. Regardless. Either way, I mean, it was only two stars. It's just that's the only thing that they they didn't like was that we swore too much. So I guess maybe we should take that with uh, a little bit of, you know, into a little bit of consideration. But like, I'm I'm definitely uh, gonna forget the next time warm. we speak. Uh, so you had one more that was from Denmark that you had sent me. Yes. Uh, good yeah. shiz, that one. Good shiz, the title. Is that four stars? Uh, it, it appears to be four stars, Dominating. Yes. Uh, from Peach Prince, I believe, uh, on Apple Podcasts in Denmark. She, he or she says, they say, it's pretty rad, y'all. All right. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. So uh, in some exciting news, we got an update to a previous review, which was a not good review and is now a four-star review. It's getting there. I, I still want to see five stars from this guy. I mean, honestly, I'll fucking take this because this is and like this is uh this is some big dick plays here, Odin up and like yeah, uh, yeah. updating it too because going so, through so the, the process original, of one writing a, a review and then going through the process of, of updating going back and updating said review. Yeah. So the original review was there is zero show structure. It seems haphazardly throw together. Stop the pausing. Edit out, please. It's incredibly infuriating. I want to like the show. There's so much you can improve upon. Please keep it up and you'll get there. So this has been since updated to all right, guys. You have seriously surprised me with the newer episodes and the mo and the more coherent and well put together discourses between both of you wonderful improvement keep it up i've recommended the show to my co-workers now and they seem to like it as much as i do now keep it up guys he says at the end we oh i missed that part in there yes so we we turned somebody 
So that's cool. Yeah, there's still hope out for these other two people, uh, Rich and C three five four five. Uh, I mean, again, and this this might be that same thing. Uh, like, no organization yeah. rambling. Like, they're listening to the first the three first episodes, three or four maybe. episodes, or like you listen to the first two, and then like another one that you have heard of in the first season that also wasn't great. Like, uh, god damn, that's. Like, Do I'm I have to put a disclaimer? Like, upload new MVPs with like disclaimers saying, "Hey, like." Just so you know, like we were pretty rough here. If you want to listen to it more, no, so what we do is, uh, like I don't know if we can do it next season. We'd probably have to do it the season after. Is then you just take the first season down. Okay. We could archive it somewhere. So if people wanted Want to, to go listen back to it, we can it. send them the link so they could still go listen. But that way, when new people come into the show, they're not like, oh, let me go to the first episode. That is absolute dog shit. I mean, we have, we have what twenty forty. How many how many shows episodes have we done in total? Uh, we're we're this close is to season 50. two episode twenty one. That's yeah, we're, almost we're as much close yeah, we're, to fifty. We, yeah, we're close to 49. the end of our season. We are in fact, which is crazy. I don't know if we go at the end of this season is when we remove that one or at the end of the next season because like at the end, ah, I don't know, like a full season to catch up on. They got twenty episodes, twenty two, twenty five episodes or something to go through. Yeah, I mean, they're hour plus long. That's twenty four hours. Yeah, or easily so like listening. a full a full time. I don't know. It wasn't dog shit. See, like it, okay, it's just I'm overly critical of things that I have done and I have not since gone back and listened to them. But it's just like the thing. Yeah, we we've improved in hindsight the amount of like changes that we have made to like yeah. a doing research and b like. The recording process, thinking and about what we were actually like, yeah, saying, actually, like, yeah, yeah, 100%. preparing. It's just, and even podcast. if it wasn't bad, it's just like I hear myself say things that I think are dumb now, the way I said it or something. I so often I, listen yeah. to a podcast recently and think that was one of our not like in the scale that was you know average, like that wasn't a really good episode, but that wasn't you know that wasn't dog shit, but like they were, it was an all right episode. I, never... I really like uh, getting done and like listening to it and being like excited about pushing the yeah, episode 100%. out because I'm like I think this one's gonna be good. I'm always like, excited. Montauk to... Monster was that was that one too. Again, like that like this episode, like I was very excited because I got so fucking distracted by like conspiracy theory in there. I was just like, yes, yeah. It's never really like you know we you, we sounded really well in that podcast or you know we covered the information well. It's uh, we just had a good fucking time in that show, and I'm excited for people to listen to it. It appears that uh, it is appreciated that we don't seem as scripted as some others do. I mean, we read from our notes pretty uh, extensively. <laughs> it's just we're shitty at, at taking notes and talking, so it's written into yeah. our notes that exact way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we write in the way we speak. And we... No, yeah. I, I mean, it's probably like like this conversation here, you know what I mean? This thing, sort of situation that we have found ourselves in. I think that's what most people like about our show is, you know, it's me and Jacob just chatting most of the time it's literally that's the thing too is like we're we're not professionals in any capacity we're just like we've just, just been two friends fucking dudes, forever. Man. like <laughs> it's yeah is what it is we are literally you just fucking people interested in podcasts and weird shit correct um so should we get onto the instagram poll because we do have a poll from this episode okay yes the one that we uh forgot the, to do last episode i believe and eh, you know whatever um we got it this, this was the uh who wore it better between the the cats from the musical cats and the like mascot the mascot looking cat yes what are we at for the the votes uh we had 21 votes jesus christ you guys thank you uh love it uh plus there's a couple people maybe one or two people on discord that and one in the live voted. chat here on Podbean as well. One in the live chat. And then there was another one on Facebook. Brooke messaged me on Facebook and okay. said, hey, B. No, I oh, I mean, well, she posted in Discord too and was just like, I can't see what they are, but whatever they are, it's it's the second one. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that was funny as fuck. Uh, so she votes uh, uh, like every, like most people. I guess not most people. It was like 9 to 12 on Instagram. So in favor of? Plus the three, I believe total is you know from discord brooke and you know two or three it'd be like 14 to nine oh, okay so, okay uh, in, it's still which one one the one on the right the, the guy the, like the shitty mascot, mascot one yeah. not the cats from cats the musical cats not the musical cats. i was trying to see how many times i could say cats cats <laughs> the, <laughs> right, the musical all right good all right guys well thank you for uh listening to this week's episode everybody who made it into the live show hey yeah. shout and out who... to all of you legends and people over here like actively in the chat Mad props. Uh, I love that. That's that's fun. I hope to see more people out. 
Um, I, I think we we're should gonna try and keep doing this. We should try and like plan this out better so we can give a heads instead up. of yeah instead of like literally like hey guys the podcast is now live. Not that I, yeah <laughs> not that I expect anybody to make plans, but if they at least know like if they know a ahead few of time, days in yeah advance, exactly like, yeah no it is yeah yeah there's a hundred percent I would agree. <sighs> if you don't know, then you don't know. Like if you're out like cool, I'm going to be driving during that time. I'm not sitting yeah. there looking at my phone. I'm not checking Discord. I don't know that that's happening. Right. But if I knew two days oh, in advance, it's three o'clock. hey, I know at three, I can flip that on. Yeah, 100%. Boy, our schedules would have to be so much We're better. really bad at like, this is like a, a business kind of, but it's not a business. Yeah. like we, we, And we're just bad at all of it. We're just kind of like, correct. we just kind of like we people seek professional talking help, into the so internet. So if you're out there, <laughs> let us know. Literally need a lawyer on retainer. Correct. All right. Again, thanks, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. I think that is all. That is all on the Beast of Bodmin Moor, I think. Uh, I mean, that, there there are other sightings out there. You can see those. But those are the ones such. we covered. Uh, very, yes, as as always, um, you know, the, very, the various most awkward of outros. Uh, yeah, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks for listening. Thanks again, guys. Peace. Thanks for checking out this week's episode. If you want to get your two cents in, answer this week's polls on social media. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, as well as Discord. Links for all the social media, as well as everything else we talked about on the show, are available at gobblesquatch.com. If you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, or you just want to chat, you can email us at kenencryptids at hotmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and tell your friends. I've been Connor. I've been Jacob. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks for another fascinating installment of Counting Cryptids.